Hi everyone, my name is Marcin and welcome in my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to retouch teeth on the image, how to remove all the blemishes and of course at the end how to whiten teeth. Of course at first um, on this image, I'm going to do this of course on this image and at first as you can see the teeth looks fine but all the magic disappeared after we zoom this image a little bit, take a look, it just doesn't look well. As you see, it's very dirty because of the lipstick. It's a um, quite common problem uh, when the girls have a lipstick. The teeth sometimes have the color of the lipstick. And of course, the thing we have to do, we just have to remove all of these dirty parts. So. At first duplicate our background layer and I'm going to call this blemishes. <clears throat> and the tool I'm going to use and the tool I think is the best in this case, uh, the tool is the best to remove blemishes from your teeth at first. For me it's path tool. I think it's not really common tool to do this, but for me it's the best for all of these blemishes on the middle of your teeth so just how to use path tool just select around the, the part you'd like to fix click on it move and the problem solved as you see it's very simple and now we just have to do the same thing on every other blemish we have to we would like to remove It's a very simple thing, as I have to say, nothing much easier than this. But of course, it takes a while, not even a while, it's just a few minutes or even less. But the thing I have to say, this tool it's not really uh, great for all of the blemishes it doesn't work here on the edges so on the edges you just have to use a um, different tool I'm going to show you why take a look if we select this part on the edge as you see it just doesn't work so the thing we have to do, we have to change uh, the tool we would like to use. And the next tool, which would be the best for it, for me, it's um, clone stamp tool. So we have to be really careful with clone stamp tool, but nothing more easier than this. Just Press Alt and click on the um, area you'd like to remove. Just uh, it, the best thing is to copy um, the color from this part of the teeth, or as we want to keep the natural look, natural and original look. takes a bit but we are nearly done just here a bit and okay I think it looks much much better But of course, it's not everything. But at first, take a look. 
for that result that's how our tape looked before I cleaned them I can see before I remove the blemishes it uh, now you have to say it was horrible and that's how it looks after but of course it's not not really done cause of course we have to whiten teeth a little bit at first but of course uh, actually, it's not really necessary, like as uh, teeth on, like this model has really nice teeth, but I will show you this just in case how to do this for the future. And the best tool to do this is, of course, pen tool. For me, just use pen tool in every occasion as, like, it gives you much more control than quick selection tool and magic wand tool. So just use pen tool. It takes a little bit more time to do this but like we have to do some effort to make our work good not And okay, after the selection is done, click right, then click make selection. And what's, <clears throat> what's the important thing? Set feather radius around two pixels, as it's good to make soft edges, because um, of course we don't want to have fake look. So feather radius are two pixels, maybe one pixel. It depends on um, um, what size have uh, your image. For this image, it's two pixels. It's okay to create soft edges. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click this small icon on the bottom and then vibrance. I could use saturation, but I think vibrance gives us a little bit more control. As I don't want to make this a uh, fake look, I will take down saturation just to minus eight points and vibrance down to maybe around 25 it's not too much but as I said the teeth actually was um, quite okay and as you see it looks much better as as I said it's small difference but the teeth looks really nice white and clean and of course what the most important is the teeth looks natural and this this method, uh, the tools I used didn't give us the fake look, everything looks really natural and nice. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, thank you for watching and see you soon in the next Photoshop tutorial.